Okay, in this video I want to do some examples of solving absolute value inequalities. And if you have the following types of inequalities, if you have the absolute value of some quantity A that's greater than or equal to B, where B is zero or larger, we're going to solve these inequalities A greater than or equal to B, and we'll have to figure out when A is less than or equal to negative B. To solve the absolute value of A less than or equal to B, where B is greater than or equal to zero, we're just going to sandwich A between positive B and negative B and solve that. So the first problem here I'm going to do is the absolute value of uh, the quantity 2 minus 4x greater than or equal to 8. So according to this, it says basically what you do is just remove the parenthesis or the absolute value, make that greater than or equal to 8. That's kind of the first equation. And the other it says just remove the absolute value and make that less than or equal to the negative of the number that you started with. And now you simply have your two little uh, inequalities that you have to solve. Okay, so I could start by subtracting 2 from both sides. That would give me negative 4x greater than or equal to, so 8 minus 2 is 6. And now to get the x by itself, we could divide both sides by negative 4. So that would give us x on the left. Remember, if we divide by a negative, the inequality flips direction. And 6 over negative 4 would reduce to negative 3 halves. The other solution, we could subtract 2 from both sides. Uh, we would get negative 4x less than or equal to, so negative 8 minus 2 is negative 10. If we divide both sides by negative 4, we'll get x greater than or equal to positive 10 fourths, or if we reduce that to 5 halves. So really, this is kind of an or statement I should emphasize as well when we're doing this. So it says our solutions are anything less than or equal to negative 3 halves, or anything greater than or equal to 5 halves will also work. So if we want to write our solution in interval notation, we can say it's from negative infinity, negative infinity up to negative 3 halves inclusive. So we use our brackets. Or we can use brackets. 5 halves up to positive infinity.